Hi, Lynn Zettler here, and today we're going to talk about strategies, strategies you need to reach your objectives. This is all part of the one-page business plan that I use for strategic planning with all of my clients. Remember, there's only five questions. This happens to be the fourth question that we're dealing with today. We'll just give you a quick overview of the previous questions, and we'll get straight to it. So first, I know you're tired of not getting the results you want, of having team members going off target, of confusion, of who's doing what, clarity is lacking of where the company's going or where your team is going, your department, and you're probably struggling to hold your team members accountable. The One Page Business Plan can solve those problems for you. I've seen it happen with many of the clients that I've uh, used this tool with. So what will you get today? You're going to learn how to develop meaningful strategies to reach your objectives, and you're going to use them to get your results. Okay, I'm going to be really specific about strategies. People tend to get a little confused about what a strategy is, so I'll be sure to cover that. Remember, the one-page business plan is just these five questions, right? We're looking at the one in green, the strategies. It answers the question, how will the business be built? But this all fits on one page, and that's why it's so beautiful, because it's a great communication tool for people. So you should have already completed a vision statement and answered that question, what are we building? You know, three to five years out, what does, what does this organization look like for me and for, for everyone? And then you should have already done a mission statement answering that question, why does this business exist? And then we went through objectives, you know, what will we measure? How will we know that we're doing the right thing? So this, those objectives or goals are the measurable things that we are trying to attain within the next year. So why are strategies so important? Well, you've got to know how we're going to do things. And that's really what you need to remember. Strategies answer the question, how? They specify how you will achieve objectives, what you will do and what you won't do. And they'll give you guidelines for decision making because if they don't align, if you find something and it doesn't align with your strategies or objectives, it's probably not something you should do unless you want to completely change the plan, which you can always do, but there should be a, a good reason for it if you decide to go that way. So we want to specify how we're going to do things and answer the question, how will this business be built? So remember this little vignette here of the vision statement and where we want to go and then looking at where we are now and then filling in those objectives of how we're going to get there and then the the strategy comes into play of the how piece how will we get there of course there's always a template right one page business plan always has templates how will this business be built business building activity or goal plus how it will be done very simple very simple to put together. One thing you need to remember about strategies, as you can see there, is there's no dates. There are no dates with strategies. There are only dates with objectives and maybe action plans, but not with strategies. Strategies are how you're doing something, not when you're doing or what you're doing. So of course, here's some great examples. For example, grow your business by, what are three ways that you're going to grow your business by? It could be grow my business by advertising on the radio, going to networking events, and asking uh, my prior clients for more business. Those are three activities that you could use to grow your business. So all of these different activities or goals they're good ways for you to look at how you're going to achieve them. Also, keep in mind that you, these we need to be very short in how we're describing these things and um, that a strategy needs to support one of our objectives. So hopefully you've already done your objectives. In the one page plan, it allows you to have nine objectives, no more than nine, because if you have more than nine, you're probably too unfocused. And as well, you can have nine strategies. So that means nine of these lines, not, not nine uh, of these over in the three hows, but nine of these lines. 
So keep in mind, you've got nine. Of course, there you may have other strategies in your business, but what are the three, what are, what are the nine um, at most that you're going to really focus on? Let's look at some examples. Capitalize on green and remodeling markets with creative products, easy financing, and installations in five days or less. This is an example from the uh, Colorado Window Company. And so that's what they're going to focus on is green and remodeling markets, right? Tells you where they're, where they're looking with creative products, easy financing, and installations in five days or less. That's great. Who doesn't want an installation in five days or less? They're going to build nationally recognized brand name with creative media, national retail partnerships, and a strong dealer network. So those are the three areas they're going to focus on to become this recognized brand name. And they're going to become a vendor of choice by maintaining inventory of standard window sizes with fast turnaround on customer orders. And then they're going to use technology to reduce manufacturing costs, improve quality, and customer service and distribution services. So this tells you too that if you're planning, if you're part of this group, that if you find a technology that will help in that area, then certainly we're going to look at it. We may have some, uh, even that have that in our budget that we can use. So that's why it's important to have because that's the way that people align to things. They can see, actually see, and refer back to what the plan is. Does what, uh, is this opportunity aligned to the plan? Is it outside the alignment to the plan? It really helps to eliminate that squirrel mentality or that, you know, chasing bright, shiny objects. So remember, again, one page business plan, five questions. What are we building? Why does this business exist? What will we measure? How will this business be built? And what is the work to be done? It all fits on one page, I promise. If you haven't already, go to the website, coreimpactcoaching.com. There's blogs, ebooks, and videos, everything that will help you get the results you want much faster. If you want more than that, contact us. We've got workbooks, templates, expertise. If you're overwhelmed by this and you don't want to do it by yourself, we can help you with your team to go through this process and come up with something that everyone buys into. So don't forget coreimpactcoaching.com. Send me an email at lzettler at coreimpact.com. We've got coaches ready, willing, and able. They're waiting for you, and they are excited to help you put together your one-page business plan. Thanks, and be a great day.